Hi guys, welcome back. I have a quick and easy tutorial for you guys today. As the title says, how to pass in parameters in to a pop-up window and out of a pop-up window. I know this is a pretty trivial tutorial, but I saw people ask about, um, about this topic on my Discord. Actually, it was one person who asked. So I thought it would be quick and easy and it might be helpful for people who are just beginning in, uh, in Ignition. So. We're just gonna jump in and get started. I have my designer open already. Uh, we're gonna need two views for this example here. Let me just create one view here. This will be the main view. This is where we're gonna launch the pop-up from. Um, we'll just call it this, main. And then we'll also need our pop-up view, pop-up. We actually don't need to set a page URL here. So that's all we need. Inside my pop-up view, I'm just gonna add a few components. That way it looks like a pop-up view. This of course is kind of besides the point. Let me give it some padding. We have 20 pixels top and bottom and 50 pixels left and right. And then we throw on a label on here and text text field. For some reason, I'm imagining this as like a form, but of course, pop up windows have a whole bunch of different functions. And then let me copy this and paste this a few times just like this. Okay, this is our pop up window. At the very bottom, let me put a button, actually a row. A row and Oops, what did I do? Let me actually remove this guy here, delete. So I have my row here and let me do, let me make it 200 pixels tall and then do margin top auto. Should be column, this should be 200 pixels. Okay, let's try to drop in a button. Oops. Deep select this guy here. Drop in a button. Okay, that is strange. Let me make this 50 pixels, this is why. Sorry, I was just completely stupid and set this button to 100, 100 pixels. This is kind of not the point of this video at all. And this is also not the best practice. You usually don't set it up like this and not name everything. But um, but that's besides the point of this video. Uh, what we do want is to pass data into a pop-up window and also pass some, some data, some calculated value out to the window that called the pop-up, if that makes sense. Okay, so on this close button, we'll add a script later. Uh, for now, on our pop-up here, let me just say, on our pop-up view, let's add a param, a view parameter, and we'll call this um, ID or something, and we'll pass this value here, and also, let me bind this label here to my ID. That way we can see whether it's being passed in or not. So let me bind this to my ID parameter. Okay, just like that. So if I go back to pop-up view here and pass 123, that'll change here. Okay, now let's go back to our main view. Our main view, uh, you know, is gonna have some other components on it. That's also not the point of this video. But say I have actually a text field, text field, and a button on my view. Let's also add here some padding on my root container. Padding, 20 pixels. Let me do something like this. Change the direction of this. And then we'll say open pop-up on my button. So the basic idea here is when you enter this value or, or enter a value into this text field, 
and hit open pop-up, it'll open this pop-up field and then our value will show here. It's a dumb example, but I think you get the point how you could, how you would use this in a real project. So I think we have all the views set up. Now to add the scripting. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is let's work on this open pop-up script here. I'm gonna add a non-action performed and then a script action. And here, the first thing I'm gonna do is retrieve this text field value. So I'll just call this text value is equal to my text fields um, text property here, a simple binding like this. And then we're gonna call a system function, system.perspective.openPopup here. And we pass in a unique ID. So let's just say ID sample form or something. I'm not, uh, this, you'll need this ID to close the pop-up later. So that's why it's, it's used. And then also here you pass in the path to the view you want to use as a pop-up. So let's hit okay for now. And then actually go here to your pop-up, right click, copy path. And then on your button here, let's paste this, or let's just call it like path or something, path. The path is equal to this value. Oh, and pass the path in here. And then I'm gonna copy this again because I overwrote it. Okay, so right now what we have, it'll work. It'll open the pop-up as I'll demonstrate here. Let me launch a session. Um, okay, this is for something else. Let me actually call this main. This is the page we want. So you'll see that I can enter something here, zero, and hit open pop-up and my pop-up displays, but it doesn't actually pass the zero in because we didn't create a, a params object and pass it in with the system perspective open pop-up function. So to do that, um, you'll have to take a look at the documentation. So if you go to your designer, hit F1, it'll open a browser tab and take you to the documentation. And then here you can search for open pop-up and you'll see that there's this params object here that you, well, let's call it dictionary or object that you pass in. Um, and then there's also other other fields you can specify here. If you want it to dismiss when you click off of it, for example, if you want it to show up as a modal. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different properties here. Also viewport bound, this is a newer property that's very useful. Um, if the screen size changes and your pop-up has a static height and width, uh, it'll try to fit inside of your screen size and not show up, you know, half showing or whatever. But for now, we only need this params property here. So go back to the designer here and let's create another variable, call it params. And then I believe we called it ID. I believe in my pop-up view, we called it ID, but I'll check right now. So once you create your params dictionary, just like this, then you can call it like this, params equals params. I'm pretty sure you don't even need to specify the parameter here, the parameter name, but I will just to be safe. All right, let's hit apply. Actually, let's hit okay and see if this will work. If it won't, then that means, well, actually, let's just check. Yep, it should work. All right, so let me go back to the session, refresh this, and let me enter a value, 120, open pop-up, and you can see it passes the value back here. Um, so here's my value again. Very stupid example, but I think you can see how you'd be able to use this sort of concept uh, in your projects. Okay, the last thing I wanna show in this video is how to pass a value back from this pop-up. So say you enter a, a value in this text field, how to pass it back into this main view. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So my close button isn't programmed to do anything yet, uh, but we will work on that right now. So 
for this example, let me actually add a label component, label component, oops, label. Let me drag a label here. All right, this is what we'll use. Uh, let's go to the pop-up view and on the pop-up view, we're already passing a parameter in, but we also wanna pass a parameter out back to the main view. So I'm gonna get this text values or text fields, text property from here, and then send it using a message handler, send it back to the main view. That's the idea. Okay, so let's add a script action again to the close button. Eventually we'll do this, system perspective dot close pop-up close pop-up just like this, and this is where you pass in the ID. So like this, but before that, we also wanna send a message. So let me first get my text value. Text value will come from the first text box or text field. This is why you wanna name your components that you place on the screen. It's gonna help you a lot, especially when you have nesting within flex containers. Okay, just like that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna do a system dot perspective dot send message. And here we'll define this message type. Let's just see, let's just call it receive from pop-up, just like this. And payload here, we'll define a payload, similar to the params object or dictionary. I always get those two mixed up, whether it's payload or params, but here it's, it's called payload. Uh, serves the same purpose here. We'll just say, we'll also call it field from pop-up, something like this. And then we'll set it to our text value. Okay, so our message is called receive from pop-up. And let me just take a snip of this that way. Um, just like that. Okay, so what we're doing is we're getting, just to review, we're getting this text fields text property, we're creating a payload and passing in, calling it fields from pop-up and passing it into system perspective send message. We're gonna send this message and back on our main view, there's the last component, last piece of it. That's why I copied this here. I'm gonna use this name to create a message handler on my label that I added. And then at the very end, we're gonna close the pop-up. And if the pop-up closes, then we'll know that our code ran or our script ran successfully. Okay, so let me just save this here. Last thing we need to do is go to our label, uh, right click, configure scripts, add a message handler, and here's where our name comes in. Um, from the page should be fine, the scope. And let me, let me say field from pop-up is equal to payload. And then we'll reference it, field from pop-up. I believe this is what we called it here, and it is. Here it is. Okay. And then what we want to do is set the labels text property equal to the field from pop-up. Field from pop-up. Okay. So at this point, I believe our project should be fully functional, at least in its current form, and do what we want it to. But let's just double check. Okay, so let's first test passing parameters into our pop-up from our main window. Again, we already tested this. 154, you can see the labels, just label the text. So let me open the pop-up, and then from here, I can enter anything. Hello from pop-up. And then close, and you see that the value changes here. So it's a very simple paradigm. It's one that, that is used all the time when working with pop-ups. Usually when you pass in, parameters, uh, you pass it through the view params, and then when you pass parameters out, uh, in my experience, using using a parameter and doing it either bidirectional or as an output parameter with pop-up windows doesn't work. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is just to use a message handler. Uh, if you need kind of a, a brief overview of message handlers, I believe I have a video, but in this video, we covered it as well. Uh, but that's that's all I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully this will help you help you uh, if you're a beginner in Ignition.
Uh, this is a, again, like I said, this is a paradigm that's used all the time. So once you get comfortable with it, uh, you'll be you'll be able to use it without thinking twice or without thinking too deeply. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see other simple tutorials like this. But for, for now, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching.